Your Highness, yeah. good morning. morning. What should I serve you today? I have green tea, I have wine, I have um, cherry plant, I have um, champagne, I have Hennessy. You're not talking about water. I can serve you water to your highness. Come on, it's early morning. Water is essential. Can you give me a glass of water? All right. One minute. Thank you. Water, Your Highness. Thank you. And please, do you need anything else? Has the Queen arrived? Not yet, Your Highness. What do you mean by not yet? Um, I think there was a delay in her flight, so she's still in Kenya. Are you serious? Yes. You're supposed to book the flight early. I think there was a problem at the airport, not from us. How can I live in a huge palace without a queen? Concubines for the king? Um, I was trying to arrange that, Your Highness, but the last time the queen instructed me not to bring any lady into this house. You will be fired, bro! The queen already fired me if. if... <laughs> Good morning, how are you all doing? Um, I'm still here in Zimbabwe, but currently. At Vic Falls, I think a lot of people have been telling me that I don't go to Zimbabwe without going to Vic Falls because this is the touristic city of Zimbabwe. I've been here and I'm loving it and the place that I'm staying alone makes me want to stay more in Zimbabwe. Oh my goodness, like you won't even believe if there's a house or maybe there's a hotel in here. It's just a typical forest that I'm staying in here. And what even makes me so proud of staying in here, the fact that it's owned by a woman, like it's owned by a black woman. And this is the first ever hotel that is built by a black woman. Can you believe it? It is what it is. I mean, um, anyone can come and invest in the continent, but I'm just hoping to see more Africans investing in Africa. Like I've always been saying, Africa for Africans. If you don't invest in your own continent, other people will come and invest in your own continent. I think so many of us feel so comfortable when we live abroad, knowing that when you're living abroad, um, we help and build other people's economy. So I will encourage more Africans, wherever you find yourself, um, east west wherever you should come and let's develop africa together this is so beautiful this is so gorgeous i woke up this morning i just want to be a youtuber today we woke up 30 minutes earlier and since the camera is on we have to wake up for the second time so stick and stay, let me wake up for the second time. Oh my God. Wow. What a peaceful night, man. One of my best nights ever right here in Zimbabwe. You know why? Because it was so peaceful when I was sleeping. To the extent that it's seven o'clock, and I didn't want to wake up. You know why? Because when I woke up, I checked around and it was still dark in my room, not knowing that it's a trick of the windows. It, they don't want any light to come in the room unless you open the glass doors and stuff like that. So it looks so dark in my room. Six o'clock, it was dark. Seven, it was dark. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just step out and see. Oh my goodness, like, this place is so beautiful, so quiet, so calm. Give me words, give me words. So I'm in the woods, like in the woods. Literally, they never cut down any trees in here. I think she said um, she cut down only two trees. 
the buildings are not in a straight line by any chance because it was like the buildings must accommodate, must accommodate, you said the trees belong here, you building, <laughs> come and fit yourself around. <laughs> so, so that's how we built it. Everything is about leave my tree alone, you come around and build whatever you need to do. So literally everything you see here, this is the natural vegetation that we found here. So she built everything around the trees. I mean, she could have decided to cut down the trees and build more units, but she said no. I just want 19 rooms and I just want to build around the forest. It's just absolutely beautiful. This is magnificent. Um, woo! If I had the chance, I would stay here for the rest of my life, man. But I just want to encourage each and every one of you, ever come to the Vic Falls, this is the best place for you to stay. Do you guys want to see my room? I would love to take you guys to my room, man. My room alone. One thing that I love about this place is the fact that it's so quiet, so peaceful. I mean, the tranquility of the whole environment is mind-blowing. Listen, if you're that guy who loves quiet places, this is the best place for you. And they have a swimming pool right here. And this swimming pool is more like a general swimming pool. But if you want to use um, the private one, which means you need to book the villa. I mean, I would love to take you guys to my room. I mean, it's more like a whole palace on its own. You know what? L let me take you guys to my room, man. Let me do a room review, even though I hardly do this. But let me do this for you guys, man. Good morning and welcome to the palace with no queens and a linguist because I fired him. This is Mbano Hotel and this is exclusive. I mean, if I say exclusive, I've never slept anywhere like this before. So a big shout out to the owner of this beautiful place for supporting the movement of Africa to the world. To be honest, I really had a good time here, but only one thing is missing. A palace like this need a king and a queen. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with me. This is my king size bed because I'm a king. I deserve what? A king size bed. But one of the things that I really love about this place is that the fact that it's extremely huge. Like everything is so spacious. There is space everywhere in the house. So when you get into your bedroom, there's space. Because this is Africa. We, we celebrate space. We celebrate the blue sky. But your bed must be the most comfortable bed. I don't even know. I mean, my house is not even bigger than this. Everything you see here, we just went and sourced on our own. And, but obviously using some of the experts who had helped me. So a beautiful bedroom overlooking the forest. Uh, overlooking just, you know, so every one of these rooms you can actually see outside, but just really, you know, TV if you need to watch. But just, this is now about that little extra, Wow. you know, there's just that little extra wow, as you say. Just take a look at this. Everything in here is so African. The artifact that you see around, the wooden environment, it makes you feel like, okay, it's time to enjoy Africa in Africa. So as you can see, quite a formal, formal executive visit. lounge, because this is presidential. Yeah. This is presidential. Yeah. So quite a formal lounge, nice leather furniture, nice sofas, you know, very much attention to detail. That side is the more informal one. So you got yourself um, a living area, <laughs> more like two living areas. So if you want to sit there without a TV, you can sit there. If you want to enjoy yourself with a TV, you can sit right here. If you want to do um, self-study or anything, you can still do it right over here. So I actually call this a penthouse on the ground. <laughs> you know, you go to your yeah. device or whatever, and you say, I will take the penthouse. And then I, I think <laughs> after coming here, I will tell you guys, you should stop going to Dubai, man. <laughs> Because in, in Dubai, everything is artificial. I know. And this one is a natural form. So this you know? is a penthouse Whoa. on the ground. One of the things that I love about this place is my bathroom. Yes, let's hear what you say. <laughs> you won't believe it. Like, this bathroom is bigger than my room. Very spacious, exquisite, 
Oh, do you guys want me to take a shower in the bathtub for you guys to see? It's just unbelievable. Oh, and then obviously everything he's and has, your own space, your own, you know, because this is what we're talking about. Mm. The type of pricing people that we have, the type of people who want to have this sort of thing, they don't want to share. So, so they want their private, you're literally giving you private space within a bigger space yeah. where you can actually do whatever you want. And obviously the, here is then the dressing room, which can also be an, almost another bedroom in its own right. I've never seen a spacious bathroom like this. Woo! I feel good. And do the nothing. So good, pump pump, so good, pump pump. I get a key. That's what this is all about. This is now about opulence. This is all about, I don't you know if this door is, I hope it's open. Yeah. Oh, good. You've got your private space outside as with mm. the other units, but this is much bigger. And guess what? You've got outdoor shower. shower. So maybe right from the pool, if you want to have a good time out here, you can actually be having your outdoor shower and things still goes on right over here. And I love the fact that everything that they do in here, they do it in pairs. So which means that this is not a place to come alone. If you want to have a new baby, I think this is the <laughs> best place for you to come. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. I mean, right there, you can have a new baby. I'm so sorry, mommy. I, I, I think I had to say that on camera, man. What? I've never seen anything like this before. I've, I think, slept in so many resorts across the continent. But this feels different, man. No one will even hear you. One of the things that they have just one here is just the bathtub. And you know, bathtub can be used by one person, but when you use it in pairs, it's the best one. Yeah. So come along with me. This is the oh villa. My goodness. <laughs> That's why I oh say here we're going a little beyond simple. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you know, this can be your private dining. I've had it's important people, let's just call it that, come through, then they have all them. The minute they arrive, they say, I'm not having any meetings in town. People are coming to me. So when you come in here, probably you're coming for a vacation, but at the end of the day, you're a businessman, you still want to work, you still want to have meetings, you still want to have conferences. This is definitely one of the best places for you. And I love the privacy in here because if, let's say, you're having a meeting and the queen is busy lying on the bed. So you can actually keep the living side, that side, and you can actually, this is your office. And you can have all your meetings here and people will never know what's behind there. But if you want to spy on the queen, if someone is in there, you just put your eye just to see. This is our service area with, you know, which you find in the other rooms, you know, your high level, you know, fridge, your, uh, uh, um, what do you call it, ice machine, you name it. But obviously because the price for here is also full inclusive. So when we've got a guest who's paying full inclusive, we bring the wines, we bring everything, everything else, yeah, to make it comfortable. <laughs> It's so spacious, you got all this place for yourself. You have nature right in front of you. You have your swimming pool. Like there's so many places to sit. That's why I'm gonna tell you that don't come here alone. Just come here with just your loved one. Even if you have kids, let them stay at home because this is not a place to come with kids. Because if you come here, they will disturb you. Because this is the time for you to spend so much time with a loved one. <laughs> we call this our love nest. Mm sit on the love nest and just have a couple's hour. But for you, I'll stand out. Mother, <laughs> mother, son, love nest. <laughs> you guys don't think this is so unfair that I had a linguist in the house. I told you that if the queen does not make it, at least get me some concubines to enjoy myself. At the end of the day, he said no. He's fired. He's fired. See, even, even, even the hotel management knew that you cannot come here alone. Why are they doing everything by pairs? Hi, baby. How are you doing? Is everything all right? <laughs> I 
and I, I, I just want to tell you guys something. Yeah, work hard for money because you have to live like this before you die. Oh,